Morning, Dana here, uh, at Dana Invests on Instagram, and uh, heading out for some yard sales this morning. Uh, it's about 8.30, so I'm a little late, um, but we were up late last night. Um, when things come, they come in bunches, and uh, my old phone just died, so we had to go buy a new phone. Uh, and then my wife got a flat uh, yesterday, a nail in her tire. And uh, so we had to go spend another 700 bucks on uh, tires. And so uh, I had half thought about taking today off, but now I gotta pay all that stuff off. So uh, there's a community yard sale about 15 minutes away from here and I'm hoping for some good stuff. So uh, let's uh, hit it, see what we can find. <laughs> All right, sorry, I think I uh, cut off filming a little bit there. The uh, guy was kind of hovering. I got to get one of the uh, mounting cameras because holding a camera in your hand and talking to somebody is a little bit weirder um but i guess i gotta get uh used to that so anyways there was a brand new in package uh scanner um epson uh, flat scanner photo scanner and uh i got that in an xbox 360 game neither one are worth big money that i can tell um but 25 bucks for the pair of them uh, the game itself sells for 10 so I figured uh, really I was paying 15 bucks for the scanner and uh, I'm positive it's worth more than that and uh, anyways off to the next one Video game? Uh, no. Video no video game. No. Sorry. Okay. Don't assume, but no video game stuff today, huh? Hiding no, inside just the, or no, just whatever is that little blue pink container there. And okay. It's not really video games. Yeah, anymore. like computer stuff. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. Have Sorry. a good. One. No worries. Have a good one. Okay. Enjoy. Good luck to you on your search. Yeah. there because it was just a lady and her daughter and uh, I didn't want to record the little girl so anyways uh, I walked up and I saw they had these Mario connects and Mario Wii 
um, connects, and I thought uh, those were pretty interesting. So uh, I asked if they had any other uh, video games because they didn't have any outside, and she said, oh, yeah, maybe let me go look inside, and uh, came out with Ninja Gaiden 3 and Dusex, um Director's Cut for the Wii U. Both look like brand new. She said they've never actually been played because uh, they have kids and... Uh, they don't want them playing the adult games. So, anyways, uh, pick those up for five bucks a piece, which isn't really great, but uh, I mean, it'll be a little bit of a spread. So, it is what it is, and uh, hopefully, we find some more. Well, yeah, but I mean, uh, again, uh, you're really not going to give them away. And the fair? If you get, but if you get one, you get stuck with the No, because it's never been used. It's brand new. I didn't really even want to put it in the sale, but yeah, I, yeah, those things. That thing probably cost twenty five bucks. It's, it's either on afford one of these on a uh, reseller salary. video game stuff today, huh? No video game. Eh. Worth asking. Yeah. Supposedly the tires are supposed to be a little bit bigger. I mean, how much bigger they would have really weren't much. And I got the can. Come on, Mom. I know. Look at the word change. Awesome. Do you have a wrapper? Yeah. Got a birthday wrapper? Where is it? Okay. No, And he started buying vinyl and stuff, and he thinks, yeah. Like, okay. I'm like, I I'm never thought it'd come back. Right? Yeah. Uh, 
I don't think it would. No, it wouldn't because there is nothing to uh, pull. Huh. That's the only one I ever had. I might go in. You can search it up. I can't remember having. He's my cousin, so. I should have checked one for me. I never did. That's the way you live on. Game stuff today? No, I don't have any video games. Sorry. I've got a portable DVD player down there that hooks to a regular TV, but. Yeah. yeah. Did you try Best Buy? Yeah, they have large ones. They don't have the small ones anymore? Uh, right Walmart.com. Okay. Yeah. If you know the make and model, you can put that in there. Yeah. And they're real good about it. Okay. What are you selling all of it for anyway? Uh, I was going to try and get... Uh, Give my uh, mess, but uh, hit a few more yard sales and didn't film too much. But uh, 
just thought I'd show you real quick. So I got this Hexfly 5000 uh, 7.2 volt uh, RC battery. I paid two bucks for that guy. Looks like it's selling for about 35 plus shipping. Uh, I grabbed these three hats, CF Moto, Suzuki, and Arctic Cat. The Arctic Cat is new with tags. Uh, five bucks for the uh, three of those. I looked up just uh, the uh, Arctic Cat hat while I was there, and it's selling for about 25 bucks. So should do all right with that. And then I grabbed this uh, Fitbit Zip lot. There's two of them in here. Uh, I just recently found one of these at Goodwill for uh, 20 bucks, brand new, uh, and sold it for a hundred. So I figure two for five. Uh, even though they're used, I should uh, do pretty good with that. And uh, it's got a couple extra cases and stuff in there. So anyways, uh, there is a Goodwill right here. And uh, I figured I'd run into Goodwill and see if they had anything exciting while I was in the area. Most of the yard sales, I probably just hit 15 yard sales that I didn't film because there just really wasn't a ton out there. And, uh, you know, there's no sense in filming me walking up to not buy anything. Uh, I almost filmed. I grabbed a guy uh, where I bought the battery from, and I said, hey, any video games? And he goes, yeah, I've got a whole stack in my truck, but I don't want to sell them. And uh, so I was like, come on, man, I got cash. Let's go look at them. And he let me go look at them, and there was probably 50 Xbox 360 games in his truck, um, but nothing good. It was a lot of little kid games, you know, that aren't really worth anything. And I said, ah, how much? And he said, five bucks a piece. And I was like, oh, you're crazy. I'm like, I would, I, maybe a dollar a piece I'd give you. And he goes, oh, no, no, no. Give me two a piece. And, you know, to be honest, I was thinking and thinking and thinking. And most of them are like $10 a piece games uh, shipped. And it's just not worth it. So I passed. I was hoping uh, walking away would get him to say, okay, a dollar a piece. And then I would have made the gamble. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. It doesn't always work out. So, goodwill, here we come. over so I don't get a copyright strike uh, because of a lot of loud music playing in this Goodwill today. Anyways, uh, this one puts a lot of their uh, electronic stuff on bags on the wall. Uh, I'm checking out these printer uh, toners and uh, some of those are worth a lot of money. Uh, these ones were worth about what they were asking for the bag uh, and did not sell very often. I do uh, pull my phone out uh, just to verify uh, if you don't know something off the top of your head, there is no shame in the game of uh, pulling out the eBay app and double checking to make sure uh, that you are not leaving money on the table. So that's what I'm doing right here. And uh, you will see that there's a lot of listings. And then I check for solds. And there is a fair amount, but they are selling for really cheap. I don't put it up on the screen because uh, it really wasn't worth looking at. As I'm walking away, uh, this catches my eye down here at the bottom, is a plug-and-play game, Wheel of Fortune. And uh, I got a little excited until I flipped it over, and then I saw the end of the cord. 
uh, that you can see kind of dangling there uh, that is just loose wire. So unfortunately somebody ripped the ends off and uh, I'm not looking for a project uh, to try and fix it. So unfortunately that was a loser and had to stay here. I'm always looking for sealed stuff unfortunately that was a Christmas puzzle and it was like a dollar store special Christmas puzzle um, nothing that you would uh, want to buy in February March I double check it just to make sure it's not selling on Amazon or something that it's a hot seller uh, that you can do pretty easy right here open the Amazon seller app scan the barcode and there it is and it doesn't really have a profit so I pass on that guy 249 even at 249 it's not worth buying So double check Amazon on this one. Uh, again, just looking to make sure if it's worth any good money and uh, whether or not I'm restricted. I am restricted, which you can see right there. So I pass. I do find this uh, little, uh, um, what is it, uh, a link port router kind of thing. And uh, that one is selling for good money on Amazon. That was that... Uh eight port switch whatever that I showed you in there 349 uh, it'll net ten dollars profit on Amazon so see if we can find some more yard sales if not I know where there's a few thrift stores and uh, we'll hit a few of them excited here uh, because they had a few video games unfortunately you can see it's Lego Batman and uh, I forget what the other one was like a dance game and then they had a connect no uh, Xbox but just the connect for it uh, behind it there that they were asking I think 35 bucks for um, they wanted a couple bucks piece on the game the games were worth basically that so uh, I double checked them uh, real fast on both eBay uh, and if I uh, traded them in to GameStop for credit. Neither one was eligible for trade in uh, at GameStop. Oh, yeah, it was Batman. And uh, unfortunately, like I said, no good on uh, either one of those. So, can't always win.
So I actually came to this estate sale specifically for this item. Uh, I had comped uh, items in their pictures and uh, this Casio uh, VL Tone, uh, it's like a synthesizer slash calculator. Uh, it's kind of weird, um, but I looked it up and it was selling on the high end for around 100 and on the low end like 50-ish uh, for parts. And uh, I, I tried to make a deal with them. They were asking $50 on it, or sorry, they were asking $100 on it. And uh, I tried to make them an offer uh, and they said that 50 was as low as they would go. And uh, I actually found batteries in the estate sale later. I do end up buying these boots, by the way. Uh, they were like 10 bucks. And I also bought two uh, big box board games, and for whatever reason, my camera, my GoPro, when I uploaded the footage to my computer, uh, I always delete the original file as soon as it does so. It deleted uh, everything for the rest of the uh, sale for me going and trying to negotiate, uh, as well as my outro. So uh, I will cut it off here. Hopefully you guys uh, enjoyed watching this. And, uh, you know, it wasn't a huge win for me today on a lot of the stuff that I bought, but, uh, you know, it's not always wins, but uh, I'm just showing the real life, and uh, this was one of my first times filming, and uh, you can see, uh, hopefully, if you watch some of my newer videos, uh, that I believe I get a lot better uh, as I go, and a lot less glitches. So, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, hit that bell notification, and uh, please check out... Uh, one of these videos that's going to pop up at the end here uh, for one of my wet solds. And uh, anyways, have a great day. Peace.